I'm Daniela Camboni and you are watching Kitco News. Today we're talking about Rhodium. Ever since Deutsche Bank announced on May 24th that they were launching a Rhodium ETC, the metal has been inching higher slowly. It was sitting at the 1880 mark and today we are at $2,300 an ounce. Joining me to talk about the metal today is an expert on the subject, Jack Lifton. He's also the founding principal of Technology Metals Research and he's also a speaker at this weekend's Cambridge House Show in Vancouver. Jack, it's nice to speak with you again. Jack, I guess my first question to you is, is a perfect storm brewing for rhodium? Earlier this week we saw BMW announce record sales and rhodium primarily used in the automotive industry along with platinum and palladium to make catalytic converters. So as we see the automotive sector rebuild and get prosperous again, is this all good news for, for the platinum group metals, including rhodium? Yes. Yes, because what's happening is the growth in demand for automobiles, for example, the largest sector segment using rhodium, is all in Southeast Asia. We're, we're in America. We're barely making as many cars as we did four or five years ago, and there, there's very little I uh, thought of of uh, ever mass producing big cars again. In China, it's the opposite. Uh, people, uh, we talk about little cars and all that stuff, but in fact, the, when I go to China, I just, I literally see rivers of SUVs, Cadillacs, very large Chinese cars. And China mandates catalytic converters now on, on engines of a certain size. Well, in the past, that didn't matter because uh, little four cylinder cars and one cylinder motorbikes and things did, didn't make any difference. And how much of a role do recycling programs of catalytic converters uh, play in bringing back the supply of PGMs into the market? You, you realize that uh, the United States uh, has 275 million internal combustion vehicles on the road right now, 275 million. Let's say, and I don't know, half of them are commercial vehicles big ones that use gigantic catalytic converters, by the way, or particulate filters if they're diesel. We're recycling to keep even. If we didn't, re you, here's what people don't seem to understand. If we didn't recycle, we wouldn't have enough material. The market has grown beyond the capability of functioning without the recycled material. Jack, what I, what I find interesting is when the media does talk about catalytic converters and the automotive industry, so much attention is paid to platinum and palladium, but we rarely hear about rhodium. So is it the neglected cousin in the group? No, the, the world production of rhodium last year was 30 tons, okay? I've seen trucks that big on the highway in, in mass. The problem is people don't know anything about it because it's rhodium is not something you run across in, in your life. It's a specialty type of material. And so they just, the reason they don't talk about it is they don't know about it. Okay, as I mentioned at the start, Deutsche Bank launching a rhodium ETC on May 24th. Uh, Kitco News also got word that a Bermuda-based firm will also be coming out with a rhodium ETF. Jack, do you think this is a trend? Do you think we'll see more rhodium investment products emerge? Well, let's, let's put it this way. There's three cupcakes left and 50 people, so you tell me what's going to happen. There isn't enough to do that. See, the, the Minor Metal Trade Association... I, I don't speak for them. I'm, I'm a member in, in England. And I know that some of the members are quite vociferous in, in, in their reaction to this idea, for example, rhodium ETF. They're saying there isn't enough material in the market to be speculating with it. Well, it's a free world, so to speak. So that immediately is somebody who can, like Deutsche Bank, has high credibility to me. If they're telling me, Remember, if I'm an end user and I want a hedge, I need physical material at the end of the hedge. I, you're not going to tell me, well, I couldn't get any rhodium. I'll give you the money equivalent. I can't make cars with the money equivalent. Deutsche Bank, if they're going to promise me a physical metal on delivery, if I, okay, I'm going to believe them. All right, Jack, finally, trading range for rhodium. The price of rhodium is not important to the automotive people. It's the availability that's key. They don't care what the price is. And they, of course, would like to see it cheaper, okay? But my guess is that rhodium, here I'll go out on a limb again, rhodium will never see $2,200 again. It'll, it's going to be a low. It, it, it will go up and stay up. 
uh, because it's it it we know what's in we know what there's a surplus right now and yet it's two thousand dollars an ounce for something that's in surplus imagine what's going to happen as Chinese demand ramps up uh, at some point in time there's going to be panic somebody's going to say I can't get rhodium then all bets are off all right can't get rhodium Jack Lifton still bullish on rhodium Jack that's right Look forward to seeing you this weekend at the Vancouver Cambridge House Show. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Stay tuned to Kiko.com for all your industry coverage, and you can email me your comments and questions and news feedback at Kiko.com.